Hello and a very warm welcome back to episode 2 of Hope Laurent with me, Wasteland Gaming. Hello folks and welcome back to Hot Bellon and we're just down coming down to the stores. I have spent a load of money. Our money's down to 287,648 and there's a very good reason for that. So as you can see you've got a lineup of stuff just here. Some is some is not bought, um, some is rented as well, so um, we will talk about that in just a second. So yeah, basically I've brought this trailer down. You saw me sell some wood and uh, we got about 2,490 uh, euros for that. Uh, and yeah, I've done some landscaping. I got the a shed put in. As you saw from the, the wee clip, um, in fact if I go into it just now, uh, if you go into sheds um, and pick certain sheds, so I think it was this one I was looking at. No. I want that one. Um, if you click left or right on the directional pad it will change the colour of it as well which is quite cool. So you can mix and match your uh, various buildings which is really really great feature. So um, I also did a fertilising contract just to see what the contract system works like. Um, I got the AI worker to take it, take it from here all the way down and start fertilising. It worked brilliantly uh, without a fault so really good. Um, so we got about 12,000 euros for that as well. So I just thought I'd give it a whirl. So what I've done is I've bought a sprayer for herbicide and for fertilizer um, because our potatoes are actually at the stage uh, if we go this way our potatoes are on their final growth stage but they are full of weeds um, and yeah only one fertilizing state they don't need plowing and um, neither of the fields need plowing or lime which is fantastic um, but uh, yeah the, the oat field has no fertilizer on it, it's already ready to harvest. So um, we're going to get that field 16 fertilized and sprayed off um, and then yeah we'll I have leased the Dominator, uh, 108 Dominator, um, this is the Giants mod uh, and header uh, to do the, the harvesting of those oats. I've also bought some herbicide um, and this is pallets of liquid fertilizer, so it's got that and then the additive, um, so uh, 9,000 litres there, so it's a, a concentrate which is quite cool. Works out the same price but it's a lot smaller. So I've got two herbs size, one fertilizer liquid and we've got some chicken feed because I am going to install a chicken coop as well today. I, as you saw as well I installed a greenhouse uh, and we'll go and have a look at that in a bit but I've ordered so bought a water carrier for that so we've got lots of equipment to get up the road and um, what I'm gonna do is use the AI worker system for this a bit as well so what we'll do we'll jump in the harvester I'm gonna leave the header off <laughs> oh oopsie daisy I'll leave the header off and yeah we'll just let this do its thing we'll see if it works 
So I'm going to send this away up to our oak field. I hope a bit will work. The reason I want to get all the harvesting done is uh, it's going to rain tomorrow. So uh, I want to get this oak field harvested today and uh, it all sent up the road. So we'll get this down here again inside this mod really sharp really clean just yeah it's fantastic love them love love these mods and love these uh, machines so let's see if we can get it happening with this ai system it's good to just give it a bit of a helping hand get it on its way and then let it go so um let's just click on that dominator set destination so we want it to come up to here and away it goes hopefully it won't get stuck oh it's already stuck let's try again Try it from here. Let's see if it works from here. Try again. So set destination. Right. Jump out. See if it does its thing. And uh, I'll just head back to the stores and we'll get uh, everything loaded up. Okay. There we go. Alright, two bags on. And then I'm going to put the fertilizer on here. Oh dear! Deer everywhere. There's pallet on. To me, the physics have seemed to have improved a little bit on FS22. They definitely doesn't seem as fiddly uh, with the the forks certainly and I notice that oh he says that it jiggles about <laughs> I say that and then look what happens okay there we go so that's that on and then I think I think then this will fill up nicely as well. Let's have a look. Yeah, good. So that's herbicide. This is 4,300 litre tank in this. I went for this one. It's the most expensive one, but it's it's new. It's a new brand to Giants, and it's French as well. So it kind of made sense. Uh, both I would. But yeah, looks good. Okay, so I'm going to get the rest of this stuff all sorted. We'll go and get this harvester. We'll get the header onto here, and yeah, we'll see you up at the up the yard uh, with all our new purchases. Right, see you in a minute. Right then, so that was a bit of a juggle, and the AI didn't quite do what it was meant to do, but that's fine. We have got uh, the header on the back of here. Not the most. Uh, uh, safe way of carrying it but it's on um, and with the new locking scripts it works quite well so we'll jump in here we'll get this harvester going turn it on there we go and 
Yeah, it'll get us connected up. There we go. <coughs> Excuse me. And what we'll do, we'll get the work going on this and uh, going up and down, and then we can go and put everything else away. There's tractors in the way, never mind. Go. So, get this uh, reel adjusted. goes. Like I said, um, this has got weeds and no fertilizer. Oh, and we're not chopping. Uh, there we go. Perfect. I'm going to turn the help menu off. There we go. And away it goes. So, hit the worker. And it's not going to fill up very quickly that, um, and we are only going to have a little bit of straw, so all good. So, oh, strap them down. So that harvester's doing its thing, looking fantastic. Oh, two CV, watch out, watch out! Whoa, speedy. Le Deux Chapeaux. Two horses, because that's how many horsepower they had when they first, when the first one came out. <laughs> okay, so I brought the water tanker up as well. I just left it there because I was just transporting things back and forth. Uh, so we'll go and pick that up in a second. But we'll just take this up to the farm and we'll get this tractor spraying as well. You might notice the tra tires have changed as well. So I put narrow tires on there. It cost me a thousand euros to do that, but um, at least we're going to protect the crops now and ooh, we'll just get uh, ooh, certainly struggles going up this hill I love that, the way it changed gear, it's brilliant there we go, fantastic, so Coming up to the farm then, and yeah, you can see our greenhouses are in, and our shed. So I'm just going to bring this round the back here just now. I'm going to put that down. There we go. And then we'll pick up the sprayer. Go. Perfect. Right. Let's go and get this going. So it's 32 meter spray width on this, so it's pretty good. Let's zoom out a bit. There we go. Right. There it goes. And this should get rid of all the weeds. So, we'll set work on that one as well. Fantastic. There it goes. Nice. That's killing all those weeds, which is perfect. Now, hopefully, we can get another fertilizing state on that as well. So, greenhouses wise. These work quite well. You can get an extra water pot as well. So, within the landscaping, here it is construction. Uh, got no silo extensions. Yeah, there it is. So, this thing here is a supplementary water tank, so it adds the volume of water to the greenhouse so you don't have to fill it up as much. Um, so, I'm going to buy one of them actually, and I'm going to put that just here. Let's put it by the side, and then that should increase the water capacity. Let's just have a quick look. So that's just there now. There. So, got no water. I'm going to grow lettuces first. The reason being... 
if we go to crops right down here somewhere oh, I've gone past haven't I so lettuce 1,833 tomatoes and strawberries strawberries I am going to do strawberries eventually because I want to buy the bakery and do flour and straw flour and uh, flour and eggs and uh, strawberries and make some cakes um, but uh, for now, starting off, I think we're going to make lettuces and then we can sell them um, for more profit. And I am going to put our chicken coop in there towards the end of the episode. So we'll see all that in a second. And as you can see, we've got a nice little shed. Um, I wanted to put a bigger shed in there, but it just didn't fit. We'll have to put a bigger shed down here somewhere once we've got, uh, once we've got the time to do that. So... I'm going to get this uh, this field sprayed and then yeah, once this field is sprayed we will move down and go and empty that harvester and get everything uh, sorted with that. So I'll set up a little bit of a time lapse I think, we'll get that done and uh, yeah we'll see you, see you once, uh, once the oat field's finished I think. Right, see you soon. There we go then, fantastic. We have got the field has finished being harvested. We have got the herbicide sprayed on that field. Um, and yeah, we're now about to go and fill this uh, this greenhouse up. So let's get that emptied in there. Now I'm not quite sure how it works. I guess you just it just gives you extra capacity in here with that other water tank. So I presume that's it that's it empty so let's have a quick look so tomatoes so yeah so 7300 so it'll give you looks like it probably tops up to about 10,000 litres of water so let's uh, get the lettuces on the go there we go and what we can do here is change the output so storing selling or distributing so I think we'll store them just now and just see how much we collect up. Um, and yeah, 
Going in that, 28 litres of water makes 14 litres of lettuce. So you're basically half. That makes sense. <coughs> There's our lettuce growing. Fantastic. So what I could do is I could go and get some more water. But what we're going to do first, I think, we'll just uh, nip down to the the oat field and go and get uh, go and get that trailer filled up. Um, and then what I'll do is I will have a go at putting an extra fertilising state on this uh, potato field as well. It should work um, because I'm changing the state of the field so in theory it should work. So let's get ourselves down here. Okay. Even got the beep of the indicators. Amazing. So as you can see our straw swaths are not the greatest. Go. Okay, so quickly have a look. What can we uh where can we sell this? So or should I just keep hold of it? That is the question. So oats. It's not a bad price actually. So grain mill show fluctuations. So the best time to sell it is actually January. So I think we'll nip up the field. And we'll go and get this uh, in here, and yeah, I might just keep hold of it just now. There we go. So I'll fill this up. say fill this up. It's only 5,000 litres so <laughs> it's not a great deal. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. My throat's gone all croaky again. There we go. So I'll put this to the side. Close that up, put that down, and that can go back now um, since we leased it. So I think what we'll do, 5,000 litres, I think we'll keep hold of it just now and we'll sell it when the price is a bit higher. We have plenty, plenty of money just now, so that's fine, and yeah, there's no, no need to sort of rush things. If you haven't played Seasons in the past, um, usually it's best holding off to get the best prices for your crops which does mean you end up having cash flow problems and things like that but to be honest yeah the, the amount of money you get extra if you do hold off is definitely it's definitely a good thing to um, just wait till the best time to sell and with a uh, three day seasons as we've got it a, a day each day is a month um, we'll soon get soon get to the point where uh, we can get rid of uh, so that's our sell point down there. I'm gonna have to take that marker off. So we'll get to the top of the hill. We'll store this in our new shed, I think, and then I think we'll probably finish the episode. 911 liters left. Come on. There we go. So we've got our lettuce lettuce growing. I haven't done the chickens yet. We'll do that at the start of the next episode, I think. Uh, we'll get some chickens. I'm thinking of putting them in down here somewhere, just in there, out of the way, and then. Yeah, we'll see how much lettuce is growing by the next episode. I'll probably roll on a day 
but what I will do off camera is I'll get this sprayed with more fertilizer um, and then I might do a couple of fertilizing contracts off screen as well and what I might do as well is maybe just clear a couple more trees as well especially this area here so we could potentially get something else in next episode chickens then and I th I'm tempted to put some beehives in as well because potatoes benefit from uh, from bees because uh, of the flowers uh, so do sunflowers and so does canola I think so those are the three three crops that benefit from bees um, and yeah we'll have to get some cultivating and repurposing of that field done so lots lots still going on we will see you next time at Obelon and I uh, hope you've enjoyed it if you have done don't forget to hit that like button if you want to subscribe to the channel please do. and if you want to share a comment then you're more than welcome to I'll get back to you as soon as I can in the meantime, take care and we will see you next time. All the best.